Okay, to so Lucario. Yeah. So I have this guy. Mm -hmm. We were dating for two and a half years. Okay. And he is still at school. I graduated early. So he's graduating this December. Okay. And so lately, not lately, like in the past year and a half, we've broken up like five times. Okay. <laughs> wow. Because he said that, you know, right in the left, um, because he... You know, he feels like he's still in college. Right. And, you know, he wants to experience other things. But right. then he comes back and he says, Oh, you know, I love you. I still right. want to be with you. You're the girl I want to yeah. marry. Right. right now, I just want to be, you know, right. and, and, myself. And how old are you? I'm 22. And how old is he? He's 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, what, what's really happening here is most guys between the ages of about 18 to 30, yeah. and sometimes even 40, mm -hmm. they go through a thing called a player stage. You ever heard of that? So the player stage, see, she, she knows what's going on. <laughs> she, so what happens is, is that's the stage, I was just talking to this other guy um, earlier, that's the stage where guys really want to have, you know, sex and go on a lot of dates with different women, even if they have a girlfriend that they love and they like, which is you, you know? But he, he's, he's, so, he's into you, so he doesn't want to, like, not be with you, but he still wants to, you know, do that stuff on the side, right? But right. Like, so, 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 so what should she do? What like, should right. I do? Because like I love him to that. Right. Like I would wait for him right. or whatever. But you know that's not the logical. Right. No, that is the logical thing actually. To just wait. So if you, wait if you like wait. him that much and y'all have that connection and you say, hey, listen, you know, I feel like he said he's because he, at least he's being he's you know you're, you know this about him and the reason why you guys are breaking up all these times is because you know you probably don't like that. You're like, oh well, you know you don't want that to happen. But what you don't want to happen is that you break up with him and he meets another girl and the other girl is like, hey, you know, I'm cool with you doing all of that. I just want to be with you. Let's make it happen. Guess what's going to happen? He's not going to be with you anymore. He's going to be with the other but girl. But that means though. that he doesn't, that, that means that he doesn't like, he's not with it. Because if right. he, if he really wanted me, then he would fight for me, you know? No, no, but you're forgetting, like I said, he's, he's, he's young. But he's if he says stage. he loves me, then shouldn't he fight? But no, he's because not ready for this is what, this is what, right? that's what I'm saying. Like, he's guys, we can love you and still, like, a guy could, like, for example, myself, you know, um, I have a fiance, right? And for years I, while I was with her, I was still, I said, hey, I, I love being with you, but I want to date around. I still want to have sex with other girls. I told her this, and I did this, and she stayed with me. And now we've been together for seven Wait, years. Yes. As a relationship. Yes. Right? And we've been together like for seven years. But wasn't yes. that unfair yes. to the girl though? Because why should the girl be committed and not be in another relationship? Where no, no, if she the guy right. can do whatever he wants. Right, but that's up to you. If do you want to see other guys? I mean, no, but she doesn't want to feel lonely. I, she right. doesn't want to be put to the side where right. she can't do anything. Because I feel bad, honestly, right. like talking to somebody else when I know that that's the one I love. Right. And then like right. the other guy is just like somebody that like. Right, and if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. But my point is, is that if you're talking, if you you and him have to sit down and have a conversation, and you have to say, you know, you have to figure out what's important to you. But, uh, but also he has to figure out what's important to him and you have to see if y'all can make a compromise if this is in fact the guy you really, really want to be with. Because it's hard, honestly, I'm gonna tell you, it's hard for people, two people to find each other that actually like each other that much. To break up five times and still want to be with each other. You understand what I'm saying? So, so all I'm saying is just, just think about it. You two are very young, trust me, you're 22, I'm 32, okay? <laughs> so, you're, you're young and you got it, but the thing is you have to understand that he's also young and most guys his age are right. They're not ready to just like be like, hey, I just want to be just with you. You might, he might want to marry you one day, but you still have to honestly give him time to, to, to be at that level. The thing is, is that, you know, women are socialized in the society to feel that, hey, if he, if he wants to like, have sex with another girl if he wants to hang out with some other girl that means that he doesn't love you but guys don't work that way our stuff we can separate you can say i this is my woman i want to be with her and i might want to have sex with this girl for seven minutes and then come back to you that's what i'm saying but that's what i'm saying that's just how that's just how it is right but you can't but all i'm saying i know it's hard to hear i know it's like it's tough it's like oh i don't want him to do this but what i'm saying is that if you if you if you are comfortable enough to accept that he might be at that space and you let him know, hey, I'm comfortable enough, you can say, hey, my girl, she was like, look, do what you gotta do, I just don't wanna hear it. I don't want them coming back to me, whatever, whatever. Right? She wants to know. Is there something wrong with her? Like if she wants to know, like if she wants to be like, okay, No, but if I you wanna, wanna know, know, if you wanna know that's cool, but then the thing is you can't 
can't use it again. Right, you can't be like, oh, that's because you was with that girl yesterday. You know, then that's going to make things worse. You so see? you basically let him do you and you. Right, and you have to accept him how he is now, okay. or else it's not going <laughs> to tell you. My last question. So, right. what's, how long do you wait? How do you know whether they're playing games right. with you or they're really serious? Like, they're going right. to come back one day. So. Right. Well, the thing is, well, see, the thing is, is it's right now, and, and, and I know this sounds ridiculous, but it's so true. You guys are young. <laughs> so, since you are young, that and he's like, no, no. Okay, so what would you consider an age right. where she's ready to find whether it's an age? Okay, because the thing with her right. is that, uh, obviously, she's my friend, right? Right, right. So, right. yeah. Right. <laughs> best friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, the thing is with her is, like, when does she know whether or not, okay, right. I'm at that age where I do want to do communication? Right. 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 Again, what's more important? Do I want is do I want to get engaged or do I want to be with this guy? You know what I'm saying? Like you might say I want to get engaged to this guy, but if it's if he's not if he's still not ready, and you're 25, 26, and y'all been together, you have to make a decision. Is that something you have to ask yourself? And be, and, right, you gotta be, but you gotta be honest with yourself, but also still, like I said, understand the information that this guy is at this stage right now. See, it's all about understanding. It's kind of like if I if a kid came and knocked down a lamp. You know, and let's say, I'm like, why does this kid keep knocking on his lamp? Somebody might say, oh, well, he has mental problems. So I might be like, okay, now I can forgive him for knocking on his lamp, even though it kind of pissed me off. Because I know now he has this issue. So when you know that certain things are actually out there, that's what, that's... No, because now you're relating it to, like, no issue. No, no, I'm not even saying No, no, it's an issue. Whether or not he's done with college, Right, it's an issue to you. This is what I'm trying to say. So what I'm saying is, is that you have. It, I'm telling you, it's, it's not easy. I'm not. I'm telling you, it's not. You understand? It's not easy because when you learn these things about guys, but also know what you just told me, the fact that you guys broke up five times and he still wants to be with you, shows me that he has feelings. For you, shows me that he cares. You know what I'm saying? But he's still fighting with the fact that, damn, I'm young, I'm in college, you know, I, I have this thing inside me that wants to do these things. You know what I'm saying? And, and actually, what's going to happen later is that if he sticks with you, he's most likely the type of dude that will be less likely to even cheat on you if y'all are in a relationship because he's been there, done that. But if you say, hey, don't do this, just be with me, whatever, y'all get married three years from now and he's going to be sneaking out the house because he, he didn't get that time to get it out. When so they say that girl put you on faster than that. Right. So you may be so at a stage okay. where you want to commit. I but do. Gotta... Right. But also, but also, if it comes to a point where you want to commit to a man and you want a man to commit to you, you know, you might, let's say you're 25, 26, and you're like, I'm ready to get married, and he's still not there, and it's like, it's just really hard. You might need to say, I got to find another guy who's at the same place as me. Like, like, let's say right now, hypothetically, you wanted to get married, and you want that's what you really want for your life, and you found another guy, he, he might, he needs to be at that point where he wants to do it now. Usually guys like that, they're in their mid-30s. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, so right. I have a question for you. Right. Okay. So, I, well, I'm, not, I'm a year old. Well, not a year old. I'm 23. I'm 23. Okay. <laughs> so, the guy that I'm with is much older than, well, not much older, but he's 26. 26, okay. We've been together, same. yes. We've been together for three years. I absolutely love him. I already know that this mm -hmm. is someone that I can see myself with. All right. I am more goal-oriented than he is. Okay. Meaning, I've already, you know, I got my degree, I got my bachelor's, I'm already going for my master's, whereas he does not have a What is he trying to do with his life, though? It's undecided. It's undecided. Okay. He has an idea, but he doesn't go for it. Okay. And I'm not saying, okay, so I, what I, I guess what I want to know is that if I'm making an excuse for myself, because when I tell people, uh -huh. you know, like my parents, they ask, okay, is he in school? Right. And I tell them, like, he's not in school because, you know, they won't give him financial aid, and right. it's something he has to pay out of pocket. Right. It's not something that is in my set. And he's told me plenty of times that school is not for him. Right. Which I understand, like, I'm going for like social work, so I'm like one of the people who's like, 
I understand like where you're coming from. Right. I try to understand people first. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand people's situation. Right. School is not for him. When it comes to change or for, I don't force anything on anyone. Right. But I also don't want people like you said. I'm 23. I'm still young. Right. But what I'm uh, what I fear is that three, four years from now, right. me and him are still gonna be in the same He's situation. Yeah. Right. Well, there's well in his character, like, cause you know him better than, than we do. But does his character in his character does he display someone who's like? A go getter, like actually wants, like he, or he just sits around and play video games. Like, no, how he is doesn't. It? No, <laughs> he, it's like he's in the middle. Right. He works. Right. But he, he settles. There's right. no drive. To it's go not further. drive to go further. Right. You get right. me? So it's like he has a job. Right. He does something, but it's not like is he, I want is he, more. Is he comfortable like that? Does he express to you that he wants more, and he's just like he whatever. does want more, but he fears okay. getting more. Right. He, he, he fears. How can I say rejection? Right. He, right. So he fears, you know, like okay. So say for example, I gave him information because, like I said, I'm going for social work. So yeah. currently, like on my job, I like have a lot of like resources, things mm. like that. So usually, when I find some type of resource that I can, that I feel benefits him, right. I will give it to him. Right. And how does he react when you show that to him? He'll accept it. Right. But most of the time, he doesn't do it unless and. But I don't like. I don't. I'm not the type that pushes anyone. Right. Because I feel like when you push someone. They're not doing it for themselves. Right, exactly. they're, they're doing it more because they're feeling forced. Right. And I don't like forcing anyone. Right, right. So it's like, I don't know, I'm in, I'm in that stage where it's like, should I force him to become right. a better person that he is, or should I keep doing what I'm doing and see where he goes right. with that? Right. Okay, can I say something that yes. she's not saying? Yes. But she said um, <laughs> unconsciously. She's getting a little bored. No, I'm not no. bored, but I feel I like me and so. the that stage right. where it's like, together for three years, like, right. I'm so in school, like, right. I'm, a, I'm working, he's working two jobs, so it's like, we don't do the excitement that we used to be right. for, which, so, like, we would go out all the time, Right. Or, so, so, so let me ask you, so if besides his, him, his, like, work situation or him, you know, I guess, like, doing other things, like, as far as, like, um, you know, school or whatever, how is, how is your relationship personally, like, do you have a good time with him, do you, like, like, talking to him, like, how is that? I do, I do. I love him. I right. um, he's like my best friend. Right. We do have disagreements. I'm not gonna lie. Me and him don't have like a perfect relationship. It's not like I'm in, like, oh, I'm madly in love and he's right. so perfect. I know his flaws. He right. know mine. Right. So I would say like relationship wise, we're like in an understanding of how I, I'm like more realistic with how our relationship is. I'm not like right. one of those where it's like. My relationship was perfect. Right, right. You know, like I know me and him argue, I know me and him have disagreements. Right. And I know what we need to work on and he understands what we need to work on. Yeah. And I feel like like you said, like our age, I'm he's older than I am and I understand that like some guys tend to like mature forward, like, right. you know. So I feel like me and him are like in the same like level as it comes to like commitment wise. Right. I don't want to like get married or yeah. as of now, because I don't think we're in that level. I think, you know what I think it is? I think that the fact that he, he, you know, he's actually, like, he has a job. Yes, you say he has two jobs. Yeah. Right? Like, he's, it's not like, because it would be different if he was just at home doing nothing and just chilling and not trying to do anything. So he does stuff, and like you said, he might have a fear of trying to, you know, do other things or whatever. So it's not like he doesn't want to make stuff happen, but sometimes people need time to figure out what they want to do. And, and that's what, you know what okay, so that's what I feel like, and that's why I don't push it. Right. Because I do understand that people need time to, but I guess it's like the same question that's her. Like, right. when do you know? Right. Okay, but. You know what it, you know what it is? It's, it, everything, everything boils down to understanding what's going on, meaning under, you understand that he might not know what he wants to do yet or he needs more time to do it and then also coupled with that you got to understand that but also understand where how you're feeling at the time so like like i was saying to you everything depends on you understanding what's going on and you understanding how you feel because you you have to at least know what's going on with him meaning he might just not be at a space right now where he knows what he wants to do then you might say well i've been with him for all these years and i understand that he's still searching but i am not comfortable with it but you have to be honest with yourself and say I'm not comfortable with it with the understanding of that because if you don't if you don't know that you might just say oh well he's just being lazy or oh my man doesn't love me because he wants to do a girl you know what I'm saying yeah. so you have to like you're saying how long does it take it take it just it's just to the point where you feel like you need to move on to get what you need 
That's literally what it is. So with that being so, said, right. how do you feel like a relationship will last? Like, say you guys are married, right. and one, like, she would be making a sense, more money right. than he would, right. and, like, potentially he might be feeling some type of way because she is the main breadwinner and right. he is not. Like, right. how is that going to work out? Well, the, the thing is, the thing is, you you know, if you're, it, it's, it's up to you as a woman to not push that in his face and make oh, it yeah. seem like, well, I, well, you got to do what I say because I got the money. Like, for example, my, my, you know, with my girl, she was making more money than me and she would bring the money home and then I would do the budget. You know what I'm saying? For both of us. So it would be like a team. Right. So you do it as you're, you guys are a team, not, oh, I'm running you and you're running me because I, you know what I'm saying? And then I think, but also, like you said, the fact that you guys like each other, you know, and the fact that he's not really some just guy just chilling on the couch watching cartoons, you know what I mean? Like, there's potential for him to make things happen later. Because a lot of times people don't realize what they want to do until in their 30s or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But if you're together with him and he could do something really big and, and, and amazing, and you probably miss out on that because you're like, oh, well, right now, I need it now. Right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying to you, you might miss out on a good guy who broke up with you five times and still wants to be with you. You know what I'm saying? So. It's kind of like you so gotta. Basically, the female gets asked out, so we gotta wait. Right. Gotta wait for them to <laughs> right, right. No, no, no. It, but it's not about even maturity. It's about understanding people are at different places at different times. It's kind of like, let's say if I just met you, and I was like, yo, I need to, I need to have sex with you right now. I can't wait. But what, you, like, you have to be ready to want to do that right. with right. So in order for this to work, same thing with him. Same thing with you, man. It's like they have to be at a space where they're ready to be able to make that type of thing. And I know it's hard, it's not like easy, because you're like, why can't they just... Be ready. Right. Ready. <laughs> but it, it's, it's different, I mean, you know, it's a different thing. I always say this, men and women kind of want the same things at different times, you know, yeah, in sure. most cases. So if you understand that, and you understand that, you actually, it seems like you guys have good men. Most women don't, <laughs> you know, so most women are single. So they have like, oh, my man's beating me, or he's, you know, doing drugs, or he's never comes home like, you know, most women would love you guys' uh, issues. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. That's true. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I am grateful for what I do have. Right. You know, sometimes, like you said, like right. And not again, that I question it, but sometimes, like I like to, like I'm the one that like I look into the future. Well, I like to look, look in the future, right? Not that I can tell what's in the future, right. but I like to see what what's expected or right. what may be ahead. So it's like right. you know. Usually when you don't know, it's like that's when you get that fear. Like, right. okay, and another thing too, like, right like again, like again, like I said, I know it sounds cliche, but you guys are young, and yeah. the older you get, your your perspectives are gonna change about certain things. You know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna probably see certain things. It's like what I don't want to happen is you break up with your man, or you were like, oh, and then you go out here into this jungle. And you start and, seeing and how you yeah. you seeing how these other people are, and you're like, damn, I had it good, you know. And that's yeah. what that's what usually happens, you know. So that's what, you know, just it's 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 stuff. But again, it's stuff that you gotta think about. How does this make me feel? Like later on, if it's something that you're continuing to do, and it's not something you really want, then you have to make that decision and say, hey, man. I love you, but and uh, I'm gonna be honest. Like right now, I understand you're going through your thing. I understand you're doing this, but I need, I want this, and I need this. And then, but you, and you gotta own up to that and be, be uh, you know, okay with what that means for you, you know, later on, right? So it's it's some tough decisions. It was that we've been saying the whole time. I still don't have an answer. You I got it. I told know. you. She, 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 she wants me to tell her that. Okay she, yeah, yeah, she wants me to tell her. Tell like your man is crazy. He needs to just. <laughs> yes, tell me that. She, like, she wants it to be him. No, right. I know. I know. But it's just how it is. I wish. I wish I could tell you like the. Time will tell. I wish I could do you know tell you the Steve Harvey stuff, but I can't. I can't do it. The information you gave me made me feel better. Like I, I felt like I was feeling that way, but then in a way, like I kept second guessing myself. And then what you gave me, I don't know, like made me feel like okay, what I'm doing is correct. Or like I do love him. He is someone that I would rather like wait for. Right, I don't I know you. how to put it into words. <laughs> no, you did. You did a good job. Good yes, job. I see. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>